Hello and welcome. The topic of today's video is how to filter out blanks and repeated values from your parent-child hierarchies in Power BI. Now, the fact that I have to do this video in 2024 is kind of silly. I would think that by now Power BI would provide native supports in its core visuals for how to deal with parent-child hierarchies, but alas, it's still not available. There are a bunch of videos out there on how to implement it. I looked at a couple of them. They did not seem to do exactly what I want to do. So I just decided to figure out it by my own and share with you guys on how I implemented it. So there might be better ways to do this, but here's mine. Now let's take a look at the problem. So the problem is right here. We have a parent-child hierarchy. So let me take a look at how the data is laid out. So here what's happening is I have my employee data. Each employee has an ID and I have a manager ID. Now having these, these two important pieces of information, I can then build out my path and then path kind of tells me who reports to whom. And then using this path, I can build out level one, two, three, four, five, and so forth until I go all the way through the depth of the hierarchy. Now I'm trying to use this hierarchy in my report. So I created in this case, a matrix. I, I stacked level one on top of two, three, four, five, six. I have a headcount variable that I added to my report. And what do I see? John Johnson is the CEO. It has 225 employees. And then I have this kind of nonsense that's going on. So because John is also an employee and a, a hierarchy, what happens is, and it depends on how you implement it, basically see all these empty values. Because what I've chosen is when I built my hierarchy, I've chosen that I will not be report, re, repeating the same value for the same person. So let me sort this by my hierarchy. So John is at the very top. He has ID one, he doesn't have a manager. So if you look at how I've built this hierarchy, I just have him occupy level one. And then the way I've done it, I just have blanks for all the levels below. Now you may want to just repeat this because you don't like to have blanks. So what some companies or some customers have done, they've just repeated. So that at least it's not so showing blanks. It's a little bit more palatable. In my case, I just have blanks for all of the leave members that, uh, that I repeated. So regardless of how you implement it, my approach should be helpful because it kind of gives you an idea of how you might address this problem. So before I show you the decks for the final solution, let me show you what the final solution looks like. So here you go. I have the same CEO at the top and I can traverse my hierarchy. And as you can see, all of the rows are neatly laid out. There is no blanks. And that's exactly what I want to see. So I will post the DAX on our blog. The blog will be in the description of this video. So you don't have to break your eyesight trying to figure out what the DAX actually is. But here is the high level thinking. Number one, I have my headcount that right now is just a very simple calculation. It just does count rows of how many rows I have in my org. So here you go. So that basically shows all of the blanks here. So what I want to do is hide them out. And the first step in this logic is I need to know which level am I in my hierarchy. So I've built this current level calculation. And what that does, it says, okay, check for level one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the depth of my employee hierarchy. And then as I traverse the hierarchy, it's going to create a one or true for each depth. So if I use this measure in my report, then you will see that as I traverse the hierarchy, you know, this row is at level two, four, five, six, and then I could pick any, any level. So this guy is at two. So before him, below him, he's at three and so forth. So you could see how this current level calculation allows me to figure out where I'm at in my hierarchy as I, as I'm uh, traversing through it. The next thing is I develop this measure. I call it must hide. And that is the measure that basically effectively hides the row. So the way this works is I now look at the level that I'm in and I say, Hey, if I'm on a first level, then never hide it. If I'm in a second level, if the selected value is blank, then hide it and so forth. So basically what I do is I'm saying, Hey, and you might use different logic here. You could do some kind of other parameter comparison that I use here. But basically what you do is you're saying that as I traverse my current level hierarchy, 
For each level, specify the hiding logic that makes sense. So the way I built my hierarchy is based on level two, three, four, five. Sometimes I use the name versus level five. So I have a little bit more complicated if logic if I just use when I'm at the lowest level of the hierarchy. But regardless, basically what you do is you just build this out. And then what you can do is you can update your headcount calculation. And all you do is you say, hey, check if you must hide. If you do, you return a blank. If you don't need to hide, then you implement your, your, your logic. In this case, I'm using uh, traversing my path contains, trying to understand how many direct reports or size of the entire hierarchy so or, or organization structure. So regardless of what that logic is, you just add this little check in the beginning of your calc to say, hey, if I must hide this, then just display a blank. And that's literally all you need to do. If I now remove HC and current level and I add headcount, you will have a perfectly well working, perfectly well working control. So again, we can look at the same thing here. So you could very easily traverse this hierarchy. And now here I am trying to do analysis where I'm showing all of our managers. So Power BI is not that good at traversing my entire manager hierarchy and just displaying what I need to do. So this allows me to quickly find outliers. So let's say the anything that's above the middle line is the problem area. So this allows me to quickly traverse different orgs and see where the problem areas might be. So one of the issues with challenge parent share hierarchy, sometimes you want to organize them in a hierarchy like this and traverse it top down. Sometimes you want to look at, at them holistically. So right now I'm looking at the entire organizations, literally every single manager is showing to me on this graph and then I can click through different buckets organizations and zero in on that. So this is just a little bit extra, just kind of give you an idea of how, and this is using the same calculation as here. So the way my calc works, it works very well, both in hierarchical view or in a flat view. So even in a flat view, when I show just all of the employees, my calculation is able to traverse the hierarchy and figure out what the right headcount is and display the bubble size appropriately. So again, pretty quick video for today. Hope you found it to be useful. I keep getting frustrated every time I have to use parent-child hierarchies in Power BI. I wish we didn't have to write any hacks and any logic to deal with this, but you know, it is what it is. So look for DAX on the blog. Blog will be in description of the video. See you back soon on the next one.